Hi, family, to your sister again. I hope you are good. Many people may have questions that I used to have. But why are false prophet churches filled? Why are they succeeding in their ways? Why are they growing more in whatever they are doing? Sometimes you question this without understanding, without really seeing spiritually beyond things as you see them. False prophets are not succeeding because God is blind, because God is not blind. They are growing in their own evil ways because of dark forces that are behind them in order to capture the minds of the ignorant, of the poor, of the vulnerable. Why do I say ignorant? People ignored the commandments of God in order to satisfy the ways of man. Once you ignore scripture, it means you want to fulfill and satisfy the urge of solving issues your way. So you were captured. And the Bible say people perish because of lack of knowledge. The knowledge of God's word is not found in you. You are vulnerable. Why do they grow in whatever they are doing? The Bible says narrow is the gate. But why is the one that goes to destruction? It should not even confuse you when you see the wicked prosper. But the final end of the wicked is there is no peace for the wicked. You look at someone truly playing with the mind of a person. And you sit and wonder what kind of a group will sit and listen to this thing. What kind of people will watch a man do this to them and still praise this man and say, Amen, Amen. You must understand the, the dark spirit that is working against such a person. Sometimes it's not really a dark spirit. It's just an ignorant mind being lured by the desires of trying to fulfill the needs of their own flesh. Family, people are tired. People are impatient. People want to solve their problems now. People want a solution. Many people you see following false prophet, parading themselves as pastors. But they are more than sangomas in suits. It is even better to be a sangoma because you are openly who you claim to be. You are not serving two masters. You've chosen your way. But the sad part of a false prophet you want to take the ways of, of Sangamas of old and put them behind a pulpit. You are a wolf. And the crowd that praises amen to you is the exact crowd that will follow a Sangoma to do all devious things in order to please their own desires. There are a lot of Sangomas even on social media. But the truth of the matter is people are being warned about right and wrong. Yes, there are things that are being used in order to lure people to these things. But a mind of a person first has to apply, is this right or wrong? Is this true or not? You follow them because of your evil desires. They do not hold a gun against anybody. You are perishing because of lack of knowledge and ignorance. Because of being impatient with the God that is unseen. 
You are not intimate with God whom you claim to trust. You like being tingled in your ears. People want solutions now. A pastor or a prophet comes out. Start doing all these gimmicks. And you're praising amen, amen. It's because he is trying to convince you that he can solve your outside, your out appearance problems. But he cannot solve your spiritual problems because they are actually bigger than him himself. When he's done with you, he's going to a corner to celebrate. The money that he, 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 he took out of you, you gave it to him willingly. Because you ignored the warnings from God. Was it not God who say on the last day they will come and say, Lord, Lord, we prophesied in your name. And he said, get away from me, you workers of iniquity. I do not know you. It means God has warned you to know that there will be people that will prophesy. There will be people who will do all these miracles. They will even deceive the elect. The scripture has warned you are following them because of the desires of your own flesh and because of your own flesh and hostility and impatience, you are seeing them grow. Sometimes it's just not dark forces behind them. Okay, many it's dark forces, but others are, are criminal minds growing on how to distort people of their hard-earned monies. And people are just in love with evil. People are in love with ways that please me, that please flesh. I have a problem, yes, but the problem needs to be solved now. And people capitalize on that. People capitalize, or you must understand for a person to understand that that person is a human being. They may have gone through what you're going through. So they thought of ways to entice people who are going through the same thing. You need to see God. In everything, pray for patience. Ooh, pray for patience. Pray for Patience that God, when I pray, when I come to you and pray, help me to be patient in waiting for my answer. The reason some people are not answered in prayer is because they don't trust who they are praying to. The ways of God is trust and obey. The, way, the, the ways of God is do not worry. Trust and obey. If, you, if you, you trust, but you can't obey. If you obey, but you can't trust, there's a problem. If you, you, the ways of God is do not worry. Is, is you pray and then worry. Already you have canceled anything that you have done. Because faith is in this God that is not seen. The express image of the invisible God. God is spirit. So says the Bible. God has explained himself to you. The reason you may not even see him or feel him or feel his presence. The Bible says no one has seen God, but his presence can be felt. Why are you not feeling his presence? It's because you are seeking tangible things. You see, you want, you want to direct him in which ways to go and do in order for him to help you. God is all about your trust in him. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. It is impossible to please God without faith. He who comes to him must believe that he is and is the rewarder for those who seek him diligently. It means without faith, it's impossible to please that God. So faith is erupted, is rooted from the heart. And he knows it because you can't act it. No matter how much you can try, you can't act faith. That's why you see them. They say they're prophets, they're apostles, but there's no faith in them. How do we see that? There's faith in themselves. There's no faith in God. Because faith in God says Christ. 
It was by grace in Christ. It does not say grace, faith, me. No. It, it gets complicated. You don't understand. Sometimes what you, you know, your deliverance of anything is not even far-fetched. It's not gone. It's, it's not found somewhere. It's found in you. But you can't get hold of that. And the power of God in you. Because you want things done now. And your, your mind, your mind and your heart have, cannot converse with your spirit. The, the one that God has left you with. That's why you don't understand the ways of God. You see, God wants a human that will come in repentance with total dependence on the Holy Spirit. The mind and heart of a person that will say, Holy Spirit, I am inadequate on my own. I cannot do it on my own. In everything, I need you. In decision, I need you. Above all, may your love lead. May your spirit lead. It is also important to understand. There's no peace for the wicked. The wicked may prosper. Do not even envy their ways. The wicked may prosper. Do not even wish to be them. Because their end is not good. Rather be a Paul that says, I know how it feels to have. And I also know how it feels to not have. Be content. God will intervene in his own time. I'm not saying there are no prof prophets. I will be lying. I'm not saying there are no prophetic actions, but they are not the same. It's not a ritual. It's a message that comes once and it passes. And God confirms his ways in his own word. Stop following. The, the, the why is the ways of the wicked prospering? You are going to be lured because of what's in your heart. Say, God, I want you in any circumstance. God, I want to understand you in all, any circumstance. Jesus did not say, ah, no, 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 no. You people are using boats. I'm not going to follow you. I'd rather preach to the Pharisees, to the, you know, scribes. He, he did not say that. He said, you come follow me. You come follow me. He found them anyhow, anyway. You come follow me. You come follow me. See? He did not say, hey, Pharisees, uh, because you come follow me. It was an order that came with, with a response. He had power to tell the Pharisees, to tell the scribes, to follow me. They were in good places, you know. They were comfortable Bible scholars or theologians. You name them. He chose those that looked foolish in the sight of men. So do not dwell on why are they succeeding. They are true men of God. I'm not saying there are no blessings that come from God. God all blessings are coming from God and there are people who are doing well, even in ministry, in everything, very well. You'll be sure. You'll be sure. They just humble and they are being used by God. And they've not moved or changed because of status. They've continuously preached nothing else but Christ crucified. The message of the cross is the real reason behind faith. So faith in everything and everywhere, it's, it's a dangerous faith that we need to be careful of. May the spirit of God lead you to the truth. May the spirit of God continue to grant you that desire to want to, to learn the scriptures, to know him, ponder on verses deep. If you can't understand it, pray until you get its revelation. Don't, don't just leave it. Ask the Holy Spirit. Tell me what is he saying here? Emily, you know, it's not easy 
to watch people you know watching people that hey you're getting lost hey you're lost hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not something that we can rejoice about you know how beautiful it is for humanity to love one another you know how beautiful it is to look at someone and say yeah that one is a sister that one is a brother that one is you know you you, you don't look at people with now you look at people with what happens after even these false prophets, we don't, we honestly don't know. But all I know is false, false prophet. <laughs> there are days waiting for them. It's only us who can stand in the gap and pray that, you know what, Lord, we pray for your grace. Upon people's lives. But do not be worried by what you see. There are dark, dark forces behind people. There are criminal minds behind people. People are criminals. All because of the desires of the flesh to have everything. So basically, you need discernment in everything that you do. Love, but discern. Love and pray for a person that God. I pray for your grace upon this life and soul. In the name of Jesus, may the Spirit of God continue to guide you, mold you, and grow you spiritually to understand and see that not everything that we see as with naked eyes is as it is. Narrow is the gate that goes to eternity. And many don't want it. Because it's not easy to walk. It is all about obey and trust. While the wide one is all about what do I want to do? If I want to sit on the way to school, if I want to dance on the way, do whatever I want, it's all right. It's all about flesh desires that will be granted by any way that I find. In the way that is wide, we can do literally anything we want. That is exactly why man is hostile to God, because sin has overruled. You see, when a man wants his own ways, sin rules. Yes, people are going through a lot. People have been tried. People are tired, but you don't get tired of God. Get tired of your situation, you know, and hand it over to somebody that you know what to, you are in charge of this. Yeah, it's painful. Yeah, you, 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 it's all right. But he said, my peace I live with you. It means you'll have peace in any circumstance. You'll not be disturbed by certain things that are disturbing other people that are not in God. Any which way, God is in charge. Stay blessed. I love you. God loves you more. Family, do not be dismayed or envy the ways of the wicked, no matter how prosperous they may show you, there's no peace. God loves you more.